I vent about Xbox One's faulty controllers. It's time to dissect Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. Is that what they're calling it? HBO ends boxing. Michael Cohen's hot daughter and in a Patreon exclusive. Uh, talking about Christmas crafting. Hey, that's all I've got for you. <laughs> Let's do this. The recently canceled podcast with Lon Hey, how goes it? Well, you, I hope you guys are doing all right. You know, uh, I think it was last weekend I broke an Xbox One controller that I was using. This is actually one I kind of got off my brother. I think it belongs to a friend of his. But it's my fourth Xbox One controller to fail me. I've had stick issues where the left analog stick suddenly I'm like Derek Zoolander. Like, oh, hey, I can't turn left. I can only go right. If I go left, it's really slow, so I'm just better off going right quickly to get back around. And then I had one that had massive stick drift. I've had the left bumper come off of the latest one I'm using. And it's just like joy. This, this is really what I need here. Now, I look into it a little further, and it may surprise you, but the left bumpers on these controllers are incredibly flawed. So much so that you may not realize it. There's four or five different versions of how the bumper mechanism works. There's that many different Xbox One controllers with deceptive little updates. On the original, those like day one Xbox uh, One controllers, or as mine was a year later, I thought I'd buy an Xbox One in 2014 after they worked out the flaws. You know, because I learned from having like six Xbox 360s die. I go 30 plus years of gaming with never an issue related to a controller. And then the Xbox One rears its head and suddenly I'm losing controllers by the year. I can't have one last a whole 12 months. It's insane. These bumpers are just haphazardly hinged across this, uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, bridge. This like suspension bridge mechanism inside. And you just press on enough in the brittle, thin area in which these are uh, going to be taking the abuse is going to snap after a while. And it's not even a button you use a whole lot. And maybe that's part of their plan here was, oh, you're not going to hit that left bumper a whole ton. So hey, who cares if it can only take so much abuse, right? Well, the thing feels flimsy already. And there is a significant, as I've gone back to a previous controller, as I'm, I'm taking these apart now, the left bumper falling out, I'm thinking, okay, this one's unusable. Let me try the one with the massive stick drift. And I'm going to be posting... Actually, you're probably going to hear about this after the fact, but I'm posting some Overwatch highlights from the last few days. All of them on broken controllers, be it left bumper fell out or insane stick drift to the point that I can't navigate the menu because it's scrolling like a damn slot machine. And I still managed to kick some ass. Granted, I might have fallen off some ledges I wouldn't have otherwise, had some trouble getting out of spawn, because it's like I'm in this auto-rotation type thing, where I'm slowly drifting forward and have a very t hard time going backwards. So it's better to just hurry up and then turn quickly than it is to backpedal with this drift I've got going. This is insane, guys. They want 60 bucks for a controller. Of course, two weeks ago, they were $40. Oh, hey, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Then it's like it's programmed to break after the sale. Hey, $60 gets you the Xbox One controller with Bluetooth. Supposedly, the latest one that comes with the Xbox One S comes with the Xbox One X is the Bluetooth... <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing here. Related to Christmas crafts. <coughs> I'm going to be talking about that in the Patreon exclusive. Yeah, the Xbox One 
newest models come with this controller that has, I think it has some rubber grip. It's got a Bluetooth connection. And supposedly they've ironed out the bumpers. But I'm just thinking, look, the Elite costs 150 bucks, And it has the kind of bumpers that just broke on mine. Why on earth would I buy a $150 controller knowing it's going to bust? Why is it $150? For that price, I could trade in my current Xbox One, buy the Xbox One X, sell that new controller, and get the Elite... And it, it just seems like I'd be making out a little better that way. It's like you almost have to get a console that comes with the Elite to justify having the Elite. Yes, at the way I play, it would help my game. But you know they're going to be introducing cross-platform play and all this shit soon enough, right? Everybody's going to get mowed down by everybody that has a mouse and keyboard sitting at their TV now. I didn't want to get into that type of shit. I wanted to play against people who had controllers. And instead, I've always got some cheating ass Widowmaker in Overwatch ready to snipe you by clicking on your head instead of re using real skill. Let's be real here. Controllers are skill. Mouse and keyboard, I'm not impressed. And I'm thinking here, the only thing tying me into that Xbox One... The only thing that really got me in that was having the amazing and tough to get achievements on the Xbox 360. Microsoft got me in their ecosystem and I am trapped. I don't hear of anybody having issues with PlayStation controllers or Sony's console. I've never had any issue with any Sony hardware. So now I have massive hardware failure all over the place because I got into Xbox. Thanks a lot, Microsoft.